It is the next day. I just ate breakfast with my dad. Let me bring up my list. Just ate breakfast with my dad, and then it was at nine. We dropped on my little sister. Um, I guess I don't have to go to the bank with my dad because we did that yesterday, so that's done. At two to four, I have my hair appointment. Um, but for right now, I have an appointment at ten. An appointment. You know what I mean? It was like this big, and he said it was two fifty, and it's just one line through. So, <laughs> I wanted him to bring my money back, and he was like, it's only going to take 20 minutes, I can bring it down to $150, so $100 off, yes, that's me, that's budgeting for me. <laughs> um, anyways, but that's still a lot, uh, for like this big. But you know, I just I'm just gonna get done. Okay, so you definitely look like an iPad girl. Um, I never tell my parents what I'm about to do. I didn't tell them about any of my piercings, none of that. So we're just gonna do the tattoo. Okay, so we're heading to get a tattoo. Um, I look so good. Don't even lie. Um, so I'm gonna go get my tattoo. I'm gonna get the welcome to. No, I'm getting class notifications already. So that's where I'm getting my first tattoo. I want to document this just in case something goes wrong. Um, so it's eight minutes away from 10 and I will head in there. Like that. 
So yeah, it worked out good. Like the right place at the right time, type of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. And then my wife, she used to do anesthesiology at the, at the children's hospital, mm-hmm. right there off of Radies, mm-hmm. or in a uh, Radies hospital, whatever. Oh, yeah, um, it's in San Diego. Oh, in San Diego. Yeah. And then um, she hung up for scrubs to help like do the business side of this uh, business, you know what I mean? But she still like um, renews her license and all that, and like she sometimes go to private practices, like the dentist office wants someone like to put somebody under, you know? Yeah. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, I like how it looks inside the arm. I didn't think it would be that long, but I like it. Yeah. No, it looks good. Like. It's right in the middle, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, I get my good shit. This is just witch hazel, it's gonna set the stencil onto your skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was born in Switzerland. Whoa, yeah. I've never been there. Yeah, my wife and I would want to go. My wife, uh, she's, uh, she was born in um, El Centro, but her family is like from Spain. Ooh. So uh, her name's Athena, and no one can pronounce her last name. It's Laranaga, L A R R A N A G A. It's I the the map says eight plus, but normally it's nine plus. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, That's but cool. I think like I'd rather fly than do road trips. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. The flight would be like what two, I think two hours. Yes, exactly. But I have so much like stuff to bring back mm-hmm. that like it just can't work out that way. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. The machine's really quiet. Mm-hmm. Start. So you'll feel a little bit of pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't want to like tense up, you just want to like relax, okay? Okay. How's that feel? It feels like nothing. With no tears, do you see this makeup? Pain tolerance. Okay, compared to my piercings, this was giving... This this one, I think it's because it's longer type like of going through pain. This one hurt the most. But on the same scale of pain as my piercings, um, I would give this like a three out of ten but that's what it looks like at mainland japan yakuska tokyo yes place where i was born i felt like this was necessary i just want to see how it works after you know a while he gave me the the 
the deep, the, the red. Girl, take your time. You might as well be the pig from Looney Tunes. Down of aftercare. And then I copped one of these cute masks. Um, super cute. And then I got a little goodie bag. Got a little goodie bag. Okay, so don't know how exactly I'm going to hide this from my parents. It's probably not going to happen. But. Okay, so my appointment got pushed to one, or not pushed, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, it's at one, I gotta get my hair done, uh, this is what we're going with, <laughs> and I gotta pick up my mom, <laughs> I was talking to my dad, um, I just had this one, obviously he didn't notice because my babies, it takes him a while, you know, you have to be blunt with him. And you might hear them. And yeah, let me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so I got my hair. I got it trimmed like like this much taken off. Just because like I'd rather be have healthy hair than longer hair. And plus that's less hair to wash. So um but yeah, it's super cute. It's bump. I look friendly because I feel like if I have it straight, it's I'm not I'm gonna look mean. Um, but yeah, super cute. My mom is coming to pick me up, hopefully. And then I'm gonna get ready, and then I'm gonna go on a date. Yeah. Got Corona. I saw my brother's T-shirt. You got a tattoo? Hold on, you got a real tattoo? This one I got done in Guam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I told him that. Oh, do you want to see my reaction? You video time? Good morning. It is 5:48 um, a.m on a Saturday, August 20th. Uh, I'm going to school, so yeah. Here's the thing. I was out with someone really late this morning slash last night, and I didn't have time to pack my stuff, but it's already packed. I don't have that much stuff, but my mom is not up. And we need to be on the road at 7 and it is 5.49. Um, yeah, let's see how this progresses. That's literally just all my stuff. I have nothing else. I think I packed really good, for especially for my junior year. Granted, I still have stuff in my storage unit, but we'll deal with that later. So let's get into this moving back to college video. Thank you. 